This week, Runway released a new feature that allows you to control the animations of your style game model more. Um, so recently, uh, maybe a couple weeks ago, they added um, exporting videos um, directly out of style game. Uh, but those are more random, right? So it just sort of generates like a random video. It generates the random start and stop point. Um, so now they've gone ahead and added more features to this set, allowing you to control more of these um, videos. So I've actually yet to really do this myself, um, so I thought we'd just walk through it together and sort of see how it goes. Uh, so first thing, I am using the new um, Runway ML uh, web app. You just go to app.runwayml.com, um, and you can access all the same features you would through um, the normal desktop app. It's pretty cool. So this is a style game model that I trained directly on Runway. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, once I find it inside of my models, you come in here and you click export images and videos. And to the right here, you've got two options, right? So you've got generate latent walk video or generate images. Um, in this case, we're going to play with the latent walk feature. Um, so you'll see here that you've got um, two points. You've got a uh, your first image and your second image, and you can add multiple points. Um, I'm actually maybe just going to let's add another point. So I actually like the second image. So I think what I want to do is um, I'm just going to come through here and just sort of maybe um, randomize these a little bit more and just see what I got. Cool. So I kind of like this one. So let's add this one. Um, let me see if I can figure out how to delete these. So you just delete them by hitting the X. Cool. So now I'm aiming from this image to this image. Um, over 15 seconds. Uh, let's make that a little bit shorter. Let's do 10. And you've got some interpolation or um, easing features here, which is pretty nice. So you can do sort of an ease in, you can do an ease out, you can do an ease in out. So an ease in out will feel sort of uh, nice and clean um, that way. Um, so it looks like uh, I can play with truncation a little bit. I can play with video frame rate. Um, duration is 10 seconds. So it looks like I can't really, uh, maybe I can scrub through this. Let's see. All right, well, it doesn't make, doesn't like scrubbing is like that is working right now. OK, so um, let's just do this. Let's just generate one of these and see what happens. Oh, there we go. Now it's kind of working, it looks like. There we go. So you can't really play with it, but you can sort of see how it works. So I'm going to just do a couple of these. Let's do some with just, um, let's do a linear interpolation. So let's just export this video. And let's see if it'll go, let me go back to my workspace. Oops, it wasn't in a workspace. It was just in the model, this one. Oh, well, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> what I was going to do is I was going to try to actually animate each one using each different interpolation. Well, I guess that's not going to work. So let's try again. So let's um, let's add this one, and let's remove this, and let's remove. I guess we got to have two at least. So um, let's add this one. Oh, interesting. So if you click on one, and then you you can replace the image. Um, doesn't look like you can really move these around at all. So maybe those features are coming. Um, so let's do this then. So we want to go from this to this. Let's add another frame or a keyframe here. Let's add this one. Interesting. And let's add one more. So let's go to this one. So now I have essentially this will be a what is this? 15, 15, 15. So this will be a 45 second video. Um, I want to make that a little bit shorter, which I think I do. Let's try 10, 10. Oh, interesting. Tabbing kind of works, but kind of doesn't. So 10, 10, and 10. Um, and let's do, this one will be linear. This one will do an ease in out. And this one will do an ease out. So basically, like, what I kind of like here is, and this is something that would actually be kind of hard to do in, like, the text interface that I usually use. Um, I do have some in interpolation or easings built into my um, my uh, paper, not my paper space, geez, my collab notebook. So I can do a little bit of interpolation um, and easing with that, but it's really hard to do, like, between each of these keyframes to to manage and do different things. Um, so this is a, a pretty nice feature in that it allows you to do this 
Um, I'm hoping in the future they allow like for you to maybe like edit these easing curves a little bit more because um, I've seen a lot of like techniques or especially even stuff in like After Effects where you can really mess with those easing, easing curves to really get like really, really fine grain control. Um, but this alone is pretty cool, just being able to have different easing effects between each keyframe. So um, this is now a 30 second video, so let's go ahead and export out this one as well. And it looks like this one's ready to go. So let's see if we can watch this. So this one was purely linear, but I was able to choose the points, right? So it's a little different than random than randomness. That's actually pretty pretty nice. Cool. So I'll download this one. Let's come back to our assets. This one's still generating. So let's go make one more um, video from that other model. Let's pick from this one. So it'd be nice if you could um, save your points because maybe you want to change the interpolations of those a little bit. So maybe that's something that we can ask um, Chris and, and the folks over at Runway to work on, a, on for us. Um, but I do like the idea that you can like sort of select your keyframe and choose what image you want here. Um, Let's do, I'm kind of like in this gold pattern here, so let's do these. So we'll regenerate some and we'll see if we get any more gold ones. And I guess we can keep regenerating. It looks like you can also star, so maybe there's a way to actually, um, even if you can't come back to these, yeah, so if you hover over these, um, my it looks like my Pinterest um, tool is blocking this. But it looks like you could star some of these, right? So if you go to this corner, here we go. So you can star images. And I think that's probably the way to, to be able to go back and like remake your place. So if you star a couple of these, you can come backwards um, and be able to, um, oops, see, there we go. Pinterest in the way. Um, you can come back and star some of these features, which is pretty cool. Um, I feel like I, I would personally end up with about 30 different stars everywhere. And it'd be hard to go back and, and figure out what I wanted from, but maybe um, maybe this is helpful or maybe there's an interesting way to do this. So um, this is pretty cool. It doesn't look like you can star them from this part of the interface. So that's also maybe something I would change um, if Chris is watching or anyone else from Runway is watching. Um, maybe being able to star a couple of these points uh, from here would make it a little bit easier for me to understand what I'm doing. Um, okay, so let's do ease in, ease out, uh, and then let's do an ease in out here. Um, and I think I want to, let's lower my truncation. So I'm interested to see if I, if I lower my truncation, are these images going to change? And my guess is they won't. Yeah, it looks like this one might have changed in this, in this preview at least. Um, let's set this to 0.7. So what does seem to happen is when you change the truncation, your random points uh, change up here. Um, I think the video frame right here is good, and let's just export this video. Um, so this is pretty much it uh, from what I can see here is there's really, you know, you, you basically choose your points, and then you choose the interpolation method, and then you change um, the length between each of these. Actually, let's make this a little bit quicker. Let's make this four seconds. I want this one to feel fast. Um, so you can change the time, uh, and you can change the, inter the easing method. Um, I keep trying to call that interpolation, but it's definitely an easing method. So, um, you know, this is still, I would say this is like still far and away much better than you could do um, using code right now. I mean, I know I've seen some people try to work with different tools and that sort of thing, um, but I think this is a pretty clean method. Um, and if I really, really wanted a super fine grain control of this, I would definitely consider uploading one of my own models to, to Runway in order to make this happen. Um, so I think there's some interesting stuff here. I think there's still some things that I would personally want to see improved. Um, but I do think there's some really cool stuff uh, that's starting to work here. So I'm hoping to see more tools like this end up in a runway, especially as we look at not just style game models, but um, maybe, actually, I bet you could probably do this with Big GAN. I'll have to check and see, um, but I bet you could do this with Big GAN as well, and that would be pretty interesting. Um, yeah, so um, let's export this one, and let's check out one of those other videos just before we wrap up here. Um, oh, this one is still not finished yet. Okay, cool. So... Um, <laughs> Maybe I'll stop the video and uh, I'll wait for one of these to come back up and then uh, we'll look at them. Okay, it looks like this one is finished. And my guess is that by the time we finish watching this one, this other one will be finished because it's pretty short. So let's go ahead and watch this one.
So I have to say, sometimes it's a little hard to tell if the easing is working because there's also sort of like, um, especially in manipulating Z space, like I think Runway does, there's already sort of like um, a little bit of it, an easing feeling just because of the latent space isn't always super smooth. Um, I think I sort of saw where it paused and then moved on again. Um, so I do think the easing is working. Um, but again, I think it might be kind of hard, especially on a video this slow, to really feel uh, the power of that. So I want to sort of see if this other video, which did just finish, um, which has faster inter in faster easings, God, easings, not interpolations, um, faster easings does uh, feel like I can feel it more. So let's see what, what's happening here. Yeah, so in this one, I do feel like I felt more pauses. Let's watch it again. So I definitely feel the pause there, which is that I believe it goes ease out and then it's ease in out. So I definitely felt that one there. So, um, you know, I think the easing is, especially with some of these images, especially abstract stuff like this, it might feel different um, if I were using FFHQ or some faces, but um, I do think you can start to feel a little bit of emotion here. And I think this, it's a really interesting tool. And I think it's starting to give us more of that dynamic sort of playability that I think more and more people are looking for, um, especially in being able to generate video in their style game models. So um, pretty interesting stuff. I'm really excited to see where Runway takes this. Um, and I definitely think it's a big improvement over their previous version, which was just random. Um, thanks for watching.